Hi, Dress Your Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw a holiday feast to celebrate Thanksgiving. So let's get started. To draw this very yummy dinner, let's first start by drawing the apple pie. So we're going to come right here and just draw a big curve across. So let's come right here. I'm just going to start with a wide curve. Just say about right there. So now we're about the same level. We're going to come out and draw some crust. So come out right here with a little bump on both sides. And then we're just going to wobble across a bunch of curves and connect back there. And then you can come in here if you like. Just draw a little curve right here. Just, just give it some increase. Then from there, let's go ahead and draw the pan. So come down, draw an angle line on both sides. And say about right there, now that we're pretty even, we're going to round off the bottom of our pan and connect it with a curve. There. And then let's come back in here and we're going to draw some of these vent holes. So just made three of them. Three little teardrop shapes just to simplify it there. Okay, so then now that we have our apple pie, we have to draw the turkey, right? So to draw this really big turkey, let's come, let's say about right here. I'm gonna come below the apple pie and about right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a straight line across. Say about that wide. And then I'm going to just round it off at the bottom for a very simple pan. I'm drawing a lot of things today, so I'm trying to simplify everything as much as possible. Okay, so now we have our pan. Let's go in here and add some greens. So I'm just going to wobble some greens here and there. Add some tomatoes, some potatoes, <laughs> whatever you like. And then just, you just, goal is just to fill up this space before we start to draw our turkey. So just have fun with this. There's no wrong or right way. And wobble again. Now we can go ahead and put in our turkey. So our turkey is going to start about right here. I'm just going to come up right next to our apple pie or whatever kind of pie you want to make it. And now that we know kind of like how tall or big our turkey needs to be, we're going to come back into this area right here and draw the wing. So let's come about right here. I'm just going to draw a little angle line. Come up go out and then just draw the little wing and curve it in. Then we're going to draw this huge drumstick right right in this area. So let's come about right here next to this wing and we're just going to draw this really big curve and we're going to bring it out. So just imagine this is coming through So if you're using a pencil, definitely draw this curve first. So let's just bring this up. So I kind of make sure. Come down to about right here. Come down. And so now we know we just bring this out a little bit more. And about right here, just zigzag a little bit to finish it off and then the bone. And so we need to draw another one in the back. So about right here, same thing. And then the bone there. And then you can just come in here, here and there, just add some dots to give the skin some texture. So we know it's a turkey. <laughs> Okay, so now that we have our turkey in, let's go ahead and draw the uh, huge pumpkin in the back. So nice and high, I'm just going to say about right here. I'm just going to go ahead with a small curve and then we're going to curve it down all the way. I'm just going to create this cute pumpkin right here in between. So let's end it about right here. So whatever space you have left, just add a curve to complete your pumpkin. And then from there, let's draw a stem in the center. Nice thick stem. And then a big leaf that comes out. Two and then maybe a center, a pointy a little bit. And back in. And then we're just going to draw a center 
or a leaf, maybe a little twirl just to spruce it up. Why not, right? Okay, so then let's come right here. Let's give our pumpkin some bridges. And that's pretty much it for our pumpkin. So then now let's come back to this side and I'm going to put an apple right here because I wanted this to be an apple pie. So I'm going to come right here, just draw a little curve, put in a stem right there, add a leaf to create your apple. And then we're going to come back right here and just come pop it up a little bit and come down. Pop it up, down, and then about right here, we're just going to wobble a little bit to create an apple. Then on the back right here, I decided that we have to have some mashed potato because this is a very complete dinner, right? So about right here, I'm just going to go ahead and start our bowl of mashed potato. I'm just going to imagine drawing this little bowl right here. Just drawing a curve right there. We're going to end our bowl uh, about right here. And then let's draw our mashed potato. So I'm just going to wobble this big mound all the way down. So just imagine this bowl is coming about right here. And then to make it look like a mashed potato, let's add a piece of butter. Add some curves right here, kind of like where the butter is sitting on the, uh, let's see, on the mashed potato. So. Here and there, just add some curves. There. Okay, so nice big mound, right? Okay, so then now that we have that, let's draw some corn, of course. So I'm going to add some corn right here, and I'm going to go ahead and draw the leaves. So I'm just going to pop in these two curves to draw the leaves. And down to whatever space you have left. And then right in this area is where we're going to draw our corn. So this is my angle right here. So I'm just giving myself a point and I'm just going to bring down a bunch of tiny curves just to give it, give our corn some texture so that we know it's corn. And same thing over here. Since we have some space, let's go ahead and draw the same thing. Uh, down here, here, or you can add maybe zucchini some uh, more pumpkins, different shaped pumpkins, whatever you like. This is just meant to inspire you and I hope it really does. There, so I got two corn in and since I have some space right here, and let's draw a pear. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna come right here and draw a very simple pear right next to our turkey and round this part off for our pear. Draw a stem and a leaf there and those are the main elements and we can come down here and just spruce it up if you like and add some leaves uh, maybe some here they're on the table different kinds of leaves and you can add some spices so just add some circles here and there maybe like a cinnamon stick some star anise just want to try and make it as fall autumn celebration as much as possible right just make it look you can even add like a little acorn if you want, but okay, I'll leave it for, I'll leave it as is for now. It's getting complicated, right? So from there, it's pretty much done, except now we have to make it a draw so cute feast by adding some eyes and making it extra cute. So let's start with the apple. I'm just gonna go ahead really quickly and do this. I can't wait to see your fan art of this and see what you guys come up with. And let's see here, our, of course, our pumpkin. So since we have enough space, I might just make this one a draw so cute eye. 
and here so that you know it's my draw so cute holiday feast right okay so two small circles inside for highlights and a curve line at the bottom shade in the top and lines at the bottom same thing over here this one seems a little too small I'm gonna have to go in there and fix that eye <laughs> but hopefully you get the idea and you're just gonna draw a soft curve over each eye and then of course a big happy smile right in between there okay so then now we have our pumpkin and then no faces on the turkey maybe just a pear right here Oh, and the corn, of course. <gasps> have to have faces on the corn, right? There. Uh, there. <laughs> and then uh, to make it, give it some texture, you can just come in here and just draw no curves here and there, just to give your corn some texture. And I hope I haven't forgotten anything, but that is pretty much it for this um, yummy uh, holiday dinner to celebrate Thanksgiving. I really hope I've inspired you today to draw this fun and easy. And if I did, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.